Good evening, Draftaholics, and welcome to Draft Punks, the freest draft channel on the internet. My name is Sam, and I'm on the internet as Carl Mirror, and I'm joined this week and every week by Adrian Walker. How are we doing, Adrian? I'm doing fine, but I spent all my money coming to this draft. It wasn't very free for me. Ah, it sucked in. I'm, I've got all the freedom over here. Yes, yes, I've heard. You're, you're a free man, finally. Yep, finished my... My semester, I'm, I'm currently studying my master's and my semesters are intensely busy and I've now finished it, which means more time for drafting. More time for drafting, more time for draft punks. Yeah, before we uh, before we started recording today, Adrian and I had a, a big planning session where we talked about uh, some fun new ideas for the channel. So watch this space. The future. And speaking of this space, we got a, we got a war singer. Interesting. Okay, so this card is good. Its major downside is that it is law hold. <laughs> but it, Let's not get prejudicial now. It can't help it. We don't we don't hold it against the you. law. Huh? It? It's a spirit. Um We don't the hold rest... it against the law hold. Uh so yeah, it's either War Singer or Fractal Summoning. Yeah, that's that was that's my gut feeling as well. But I'm I'm we've never drafted Lawhold on the channel, and in fact, I'm like dozens of drafts deep in the format by now, and I have drafted Lawhold exactly once. Oh, let's make it a second time. Let's uh let's see if we can make it happen. We had some some obnoxious commenter on our last video accuse us of always drafting Quandrix. <laughs> I mean, it was quite unreasonable. It, yeah, well, yeah. Look, it's very unreasonable. Uh, you should, <laughs> you should stop. Uh, you should stop accusing us of this. But yeah, if you if you look at the thumbnails, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. there is just like, oh, that's a Prismari spell. Oh, there's, oh, that's the same mythic rare twice in a row. Yeah. Um, well, what yeah. what can we say? It's it's good magic, and we we make we make the good play with the good Look, magic card. I tried to draft Lawhold this draft, but what am I supposed to do when I get this pack? Well, see, you pick the you pick the um you pick the the illustrious historian. The illustrious historian, pick two. Yeah. Look, here's here's my plan. I'm going to take this and wheel this. Okay. Yeah. Great. And then we'll be in Jeskai. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh. So look at that. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Don't look at the bottom uh, row of the the pack. That 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 yeah. that way leads to temptation. Once again, this pack's just kind of garbage. Like I don't want a strict proctor. It's a spirit. It is a spirit. Does that matter? No, no, don't. It doesn't, don't right? Just I. It's a spirit. Ooh, exciting, huh? That's exciting <laughs> on its own. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of how law hold works it's all it's all just kind of aesthetics there's no don't don't read the card just admire it from a distance yeah look it's pretty but yeah we gotta kind of take the pledge mage here there's right nothing else here what am i supposed to do i mean enthusiastic study is not a bad card that's true yeah study, study's not bad i don't mind spectacle mage either but you know, the rest of it's kind of whatever all right Okay, combat for uh, combat professor uh, inkling <laughs> summoning. I don't oh. see what you're talking about. Oh, this one's interesting. Combat professor inkling summoning or cultivate. So, do we? So this is pick four. Yeah. And if Michael Raymond <laughs> is going to be correct, this is apparently where it all falls apart, and we rest on our Quandrix laurels. What do you yes, like here? I like the exciting and new adventure of drafting Lawhold, even though it may not be particularly well advised. But the fact that there is both a Inkling Summoning and a Combat Professor in this pack tells me that that may be on the menu. But also the fact there's a Quandrix Pledge Mage, a Eureka Moment, and a Cultivate in this pack also tells me that Quandrix is on the menu. But let's, right. I, I, I like the Professor there. So I like the professor because Oh Jesus. <laughs> I 
I'm s- okay, dear viewers. My deepest apologies. We're trying to not draft Quandrix, but it, it the what choice do we have? So I think I liked the Combat Professor on that last pick because I think Combat Professor is more important to the white aggro decks than Cultivate is to the green decks. Cultivate's good, but Combat Professor's irreplaceable. Correct. Oh, um, man. But look, but we tried. I don't, we tried I don't know what... so hard for you. And I, this is, like, any four of these cards would be good here. It would be I, amazing. I quite, I quite like Leyline. And it's sending a very strong signal that Quandrix is open. Yeah. Well, uh... this one, less so much, but Arcane Subtraction. Subtraction? Subtraction? I can talk real good. Everyone likes a good Arcane Subtraction. Uh, Fade some I damage. Any, I don't have any lessons yet, but that's okay. Ooh. Do we keep? Do we try and keep the dream alive? Or, or, do we go for some sort of crazy multicolor pile with reconstruct history? Oh, I do like reconstruct history. I I like reconstruct history as well. I got three cards off of it the other day. It feels pretty good when you do that, doesn't it? Yeah, you go get your um your campus guide, your instant your sorcery back. The problem is I felt like well, we could end up in a Jess guy sort of build. I also Let's like the com- the comedy value of sabotaging our own draft. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I'm speechless. I don't actually know what to say now. So we like, could go... double reconstruct history. Like, if we're grabbing... Like, if we've got, like... Let's, let's, let's make a brew. Let's do something fun this time. Okay, so... Well, All there's right. artifacts. There's campus guide, which goes quite nicely with reconstruct and goes quite nicely with this multicolor nonsense. <laughs> that, that is correct. Plan that we've got that we've got brewing here, but like we could very easily end up in just Jeskai, just like base Prismari splashing white for reconstruct and Warsinger. This is true. Um, and Warsinger gets things back where the damage is equal to the damage that it dealt. Yeah. The number, the CMC. I meant. Um, uh, okay, let's go letter. It is also an artifact. Which you can pick up with the reconstruct and it helps us splash. And it is fixing and you can you can crack it a draw card. What what's there not to love? Oh, the best card in the set, Sam. There it is. There it is. Uh, I think I'll grab a teach. We're not a great looking teach deck at the moment, but could get there. No. Ooh. Well, reduce. Reduce is a card. Okay. It is, it is definitely a card. <laughs> it is, it is oh, and there's lesson. another one. Is there a chance we want sudden breakthrough? I guess it does make, does make a, to- a, a token. I don't think we'll want two reduces. Hey, everyone's favorite removal spell. Someone can it's not really a removal spell. It's a. It's a. It's a delay them somewhat. Hello. Oh! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look at this pack! This is insane. I want oh both. Can we have God. both? Where's Cogwork? Where's where's that card from the conspiracy set that lets you put it back in the pack so you can draw draft two cards from the pack? And there's a heated debate here. Well, I mean, we've got to take Mizix's mastery. Yeah, that's I, really strong. I think Mizix's is, is just the single most powerful card in this set. And like, if we pick up any kind of the blue red discard make a treasure yeah. spells like magma opus or the other two yeah. well like it's not unreasonable to just overload this in this set oh and just cast like... everything out of your bin for for nothing yeah which makes it just ridiculous so all right let's wow i would have been over the moon with either of these well hey look hey th- now this is exciting now this is exciting yeah oh oh are we doing it? Get this Leyline Invocation out of here. Not drafting Quandrix today, Michael Raymond. Yeah, this is Jess guy. It's different. I'm a Jess guy guy. 
We're Jess guy. We're a couple of Jess Jess guys. Um. Ooh. We are Jess guys in disguise. Jess guys in disguise. Gonna shoot for the sky. Um. um I guess we grab practical research. It seems good. Seems good. Pigment storm. We could wheel it. Could potentially. Yeah. We currently don't have any removal except for this divide. So I would love to get some heated debates or some pigment storm. Maybe I do want the pigment storm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm 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 on I'm of two minds also. I don't actually know which one's the best pick. Yeah, I don't either. Well, okay. Well, this isn't amazing. I think I'm just going to take, take the land. I think I'm just going to take a chance to to grab a a campus. We passed some in pack one that I possibly shouldn't have, but there's nothing nothing in here for us. So, so let's make sure our mana works for this interesting. Oh, sciences, sciences. Yes, 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 Damn. yes. Put it in the deck. Happiest sciences of my life. Ooh. Uh, Water. Pillar drop. Pillar drop seems good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Can we get a heated debate, please? In this one? Can we have that? Heated, heated debate. debate. Round about now. The Funk Soul Brother. Heated heated debate. Uh that being said, yeah. Thunderous Arta. Or an inkling something. Wow, this this pack is not bad for us. Yeah, the problem is I, I, I we're we're gonna be splashing white, so I don't know about the chances of casting this. Let's take another so, warden or take a I'll pledge take a mage. Pledge mage. Oh yeah, pledge yeah. mage is pretty good in this deck if we're gonna be base yeah. pris prismardi. Yeah, agreed. Well, there's another one. There's also a introduction. There is. Ooh, interesting pick. This may even be pick of the week. It may be pick of the week. Interesting. How's our early game looking? Not, not spectacular. Not crazy, but not but terrible we... either. I've also got one lesson at the moment. How many learn cards do we, we have? We only got the one. Oh no, we got the two. We got divide and subtract. Well, wow, divide and subtract. <laughs> now we just need add and multiply. Now we are Quandrix. We've got all the all the basic operations. Wait, hang on. Hmm. Is there a card for each basic operation in the set? Have I just only realized this now? Divide by zero, arcane subtraction, square up. Square up. Is there like... Oh, wow, nice. another another pledge mage. Okay. Square, I'm just, is there an add additive something? Is that a thing? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. Is that a card in the set? Additive, multiply. I feel like multiply is, right? There's exponential growth. Exponential growth. Multiple choice. Oh, yeah, okay. That's kind of different, though. That is kind of different. Um, there isn't an ad. Ah, oh, man, that would have been a fun little set joke that we just, like, stumbled upon. Yeah. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed now. Get better at maths, wizards. I reckon. I mean, like, we can talk. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, on to pack three, and we've definitely made a... Ooh. Got a brainstorm. Okay, I really want this for historic. Um, <laughs> can I can I justify taking the brainstorm for the deck as it stands? <laughs> I don't think it's bad in like it's brainstorm's good, right? How many shuffle effects do we have? One, two, I suppose with the with the uh, the environmental sciences. Yeah, that's probably good. This out here. Okay, that's probably not enough. All right, I think we just got the spirit summoning. Nothing else here for us, really. That's a really disappointing pack. Well, yeah, I mean, elemental hey. summoning or a practice oh, summoning, or or another oh, sciences wow. or another Rutha. You be the judge. Whoa, 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 whoa! Sciences, Rutha, Pigment Storm, Harmonize. So we've done double Rutha two weeks in a row. 
Hey, I'm not complaining. Um, my apologies. Well, not really apologies, but sort of like my capitulations, Michael. <laughs> um, hey, no, he accused us of drafting Quandrix. That's true. Okay, this he did mention Ruther in the comment though, but. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Oh, wow. Jesus. There's Look, no it's... way we play three Ruthers, right? No. No, I think this is between Barry and Fractal Summoning. Oh, uh, God. As much as I really want this Fractal Summoning, I think I've got to take Barry. Yeah, because we kind of have, like, not a lot of removal at all. Yeah, yeah. And this is really good with Ruther because you can point it at an attacking creature for three mana and then copy it on a non-attacking creature. Oh, you mean Ruther? Did, what did I say? You said Ruther. And we've, yeah. we, 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 we could pick a Ruther. Oh, we've already oh. got two. Hey, there we go. Hey, we picked it up. That's it. Cool. All right, now we're looking, now we're looking nice. We do need a way to win. Hey, there hey, it is. that's a good one. Oh, and another berry box. Another berry, though. I think now that we've got one berry and a pigment storm, that kind of shores up the removal a little bit. I'm going to go. Yeah, the yeah. Summoning the summoning now. is strong. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, that's one good summoning and a sciences. Oh, another all subtraction. These, make all these subtractions work. Okay. Cool. Okay, it's coming together. This is a this is an interesting brew that we've got going on. It is, and we've even got a pack full of things that we probably won't play, except maybe the archivist. I could see archivist potentially. Yeah, we don't have much top end at the moment, so yeah, okay, and get it back with reconstruct history. Ooh, very nice. I can get behind that. Is this card ever playable? I don't. That's the thing about it. I don't think so. I don't think so. I guess. Reject? We're maybe playing reject? Sure. I reject it. Tone um, Shredder? Tone Shredder, I suppose. It's um, um, a hasty, hasty three drop in our weird, dirtly deck. Yeah. I don't think the War Singer is going to make the final cut. Oh, it's got to make the final cut. It's just like, it's not that good in our deck, though. But think about all of the, the combat damage. <laughs> think, <laughs> think about all of the combat damage, Sam. Won't somebody think of the combat damage? <laughs> think of the combat damage. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the Storm Kiln Artist. This is fine, but I, I'm happy with more removal. Storm Kiln Artist is the kind of card where if it costs three mana, it would be infinitely better. Yeah, agreed. Which I think is probably on purpose as far as well. <laughs> Gotta complete the collection. Gotta catch them all. Ooh. Mm. Oh, yeah. I could see that making the deck. We got a few lessons. All right, we've got multiple we've got, we've got reduced to memories. Two of them? Two, yeah, we passed the other one. Oh, okay. All right. So this we... is... We've bucked the trend. No green blue this week. Um, we, are, we, are, we are just guys now. We're just guys, um, burger and fries. And we don't have a lot of cuts to make, so that's nice. It's nice. Um... I think we. I don't think this gets in there. Right? Uh, Samuel, just, the first pick. It just returns Can't every return. creature in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, venerable war. Samuel. No, the first pick, Samuel. The it's we, it's what ties the room together. We don't we don't need it for the thumbnail. We've got we've got this. That's for the true. Thumbnail. We do have that for the thumbnail. And dear viewer already knows what they were getting into. Yeah. Um, unless we just put Ruther in the thumbnail again because we have no we have no soul. 
<laughs> we have no creativity. No creativity. Which is funny because like Ruth is sort of like supposed to be this very creative prismari yeah, yeah. artist. Maybe we should just make Ruth of the thumbnail for every video from here on out. Or or the, the patron the patron sort of saint of the draft punks. Yeah. I, I I'm I'm in. I love this card so much. You gotta raise the roof. Uh okay, last card could be study break, could be reject. Oh, it's probably teach actually. Teach was pretty garbage in here. Oh look, that's a deck. Looks like a deck to me. Are we three like... planes or are we gonna dig it up? Uh, I think we go to one planes. That gives go... us two natural two natural sources plus the letter plus the environmental sciences. Yeah, which we can just get off the first learn spell. Yeah, exactly. And we can add a add another blue, add another red. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. Um, one more island, one more mountain, and that gives us eight red overall plus letter eight. plus sciences to try to overload the mastery. mastery. Yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think we'll like if we're getting to eight mana. I think we'll uh, we'll probably have our triple red. Yeah. Is it eight okay. or is it seven? Seven plus the campus. Oh no, I mean the Mizix's mastery. Is it eight or Oh sorry, it... sorry, it's eight. Oh right, right. Yeah, well yeah, well yeah, no worries. Oh man, if only we could have picked up a, a an elemental masterpiece. Oh, and get any... it back with mastery, yeah. Any of that cycle would have been great. But as it is, we're okay. So we're going to do the fun game where Adrian keeps talking while <laughs> Sam takes the deck screenshot with the lessons in the board. And the main board. It, even though you did this last week. Oh, you I are so hasty. You were like, you <laughs> snapped off the done button as soon as you could. <laughs> could not wait to get into the into the all games. Right. So here we are. Look, Look at all those lessons in the main board. Look at them all. There's five of them. Don't. No. Mm. No. Mm. To the mm. left. Just to the left a little. Keep going. Keep going. You're nearly yeah. there. Yeah. Not just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Keep yeah. going. Okay, oh, that's very good. Okay, you did, you did it. You got it right. All right, let's do this. We'll, we'll, we'll leave the Venerable War Singer as the thumbnail for you, Adrian. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jess guys, burger and fries. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm I'm enjoying this this uh, this strange new place that we find ourselves in. We're kind of up to this point in the format, right? Where everybody's drafted all of the colleges except for Lawhold. <laughs> now is the time where we experiment. We do weird and wacky things. Yeah. Um. And I guess to sort of, you know, break the timing on all the way we usually do things, um, we got a comment from, well, we'll save it for the end, but you know who you are. Mork. Mm. Um, I don't like it. Oh, but it does get a sciences fairly early, and it does practically research. It doesn't really do anything else, though. I think I like mulling this. Yeah. Ah, well, now we're talking. It's the same hand, but better. It is. Yeah, I'll keep this. Put away the reject. Yep. Put back reject. And now we've got a pledge mage. PL edge mage. Everyone loves a good PL edge mage. Oh. Ah, didn't even need to. Didn't even need to do it. Now we can go get the white sauce. So now we subtract our own pledge mage to get in for negative one, right? Correct. And then they gain a life. Could you imagine if that's how magic worked? That'd be very cool. Um, Just pass? I guess so, yeah. Because it's not like we could even cast the sciences now. And yeah. we're probably just going to play Pillar Drop next turn anyway. On a troll. troll. Sure. Okay. Um, but as I was saying, um, so I think I think this turn I am going to subtract the troll so I can get an attack in, and I'll go get elemental summoning so I can cast that next turn. Oh yeah, I like that. Go get yeah, go get elemental. 
land, spawn train. Block. Damn it. Got him. Um, yes, as I was saying, um, in, in the comments, you know who you are. Um, uh, a veritable... Ooh. 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 Hold on, I gotta not get distracted. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to say something, and I, and I've definitely been editing videos, and we start saying something, we just forget about it. I, I come across it all the time when I'm doing my edit. <laughs> <laughs> we start down one like line of conversation, something happens in game, and that's it. It never comes back. It's, again. <laughs> it's over. We're just like, oh wait, but now we have to think about the the magic game that we're playing. So many exciting things happening. It does kill that's, it. That's pretty rude. Yeah, it's pretty rude. Good thing for four. Um, anyway, you know who you are. Um, uh, veritable Draft Punks super fan at this stage. Um, famous. Everyone knows who you are. Um, keen for some wackier content. Uh, your wish is going to be our command at some point. We were we're 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 keen to try some interesting stuff, and I guess this sort of counts. But um, we got some other things planned, so do do watch this space. We're we're, we're keen to get amongst it. Okay, all right. We're one land away from mastery. She's not doing a ton right now. No, but archivist does something. That's a yeah. that's a card. Uh, I could sack the pillar drop and get back elemental summoning. I guess I don't need to do that now. No, that's true. And I guess you pass. Yeah. Okay. I was just trying to. I was just trying to see if I could overload Mizix's mastery twice, but no. <laughs> it does not work like that. Oh, the card exiles itself, doesn't it? It exiles itself and everything that you cast off it. Right. Which I have is, a feeling you know... in this... Yeah. Oh! oh there, there it is. Here we, here we are. Huh. The value seems not exciting. Like, it's not... Like, yeah. we're not exploding in like oh we cast 10 cards out of our bin whoa yeah we're getting right. we're getting a 4-4 four, four, and I can go get spirit summoning <laughs> yeah so we're spending 8 mana to get 7 yeah. mana worth of spells and I could like I could sack the pillar drop to get back the elemental summoning but the pillar drop's holding off their spectre well so is archivist oh that's true Oh, that, that probably changes things then. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So nice, we cast it twice. Do not duress us, please. Okay, well... Things are happening. I guess we gotta make sure that we don't stall out too hard because um, Spectre will kill us. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about that. If we can get... Oh. Oh. Might be a little concerned about that, though. All right, now we need a bury in books. No, nope. that's, an, that's an island. Hmm. Um, pass and just... scry. Yeah, I think so. Because we've got the double block on them. But it's not yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that feels pretty bad having to two for one yourself against the uh, the big creature. That oh! oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That's no good. I don't even think numbers go that high. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sam? <laughs> I think we're dead. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> well, 
Okay, so, um, you know, sometimes you die to the trampling 56-7. I think we've got a, uh, a new clip to send to Riley and Dennis. Yeah. Hi, Riley. <laughs> hey, Dennis. How's it going? Shame it wasn't us doing the amazing play this time. I know. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Well, it's been a while since I got 56. <laughs> Apropos of nothing as well. <laughs> yeah. And we didn't even have the arcane subtraction to to sort of blow them out. Oh, man. Like last time. And even then, they still would have gotten value out of it because. Yeah. 7 minus 4 is still a number. All right, bother. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. this does things. I can roll with this. Yeah, me too. Oh, man. <laughs> bookworm. Double its power three times. Exponential bookworm. Damn. Well, I'm, I'm you know, I'll, I'll cop that. I'll take that one. That hey, was fun dude. to have happen to us. If you're going to go, you might as well go in style. Yeah, this is very true. Island off of the top okay. would be nice. Island would be really good. Um, well, they they got no problem in that. We do, though. Yeah. Do we just play Ruther? I guess so. Are we just going to get countered? Because that's going to... Okay, no. Good. Ah, we got another one. That's true, we do. And in an alternate... Okay. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Opponent is doing less than nothing. I mean, just like, swing. Take that. Ruther beat down. The Ruther beat down. 20 turn clock. You heard it here first. Well, now we're going to play. So the, the clock has sped up considerably. Vortex runner. Still no land. Which tells okay. me the... Tells okay. me that they drew Vortex Runner. So, I guess we subtract the Vortex Runner. Copy go it. Get s we could copy it. Just get two spells. Yeah. Or we could just like. Yeah. No. I don't. Yeah. I don't hate that actually. Yeah. The more I think about it, the more I like it. I mean, because otherwise, get, what? We're just going to pick and storm. And go get sciences and elemental summoning. Yeah. And we'll get the copy trigger on the pledge mage so the pledge mage gets big. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like that. We're not copying anything else for a little while, so yeah, we might as well. Okay, and subtract. Trigger. Dance. Ah, you, your, your, your deft wrist movements are so... So well practiced, Sam. This obviously uh, isn't your first time activating Ruther. <laughs> yeah. This ain't my first Ruthio. Ru Ru <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Something about Bames Nod? Is he having a strong? He might be. That might be call the. the uh... You might want to call the Bonjour. Let's oh, just call, call the Bonjour. There's a black source. Okay, this might explain a lot of what's going on. Okay, Gets in. Okay, so let's go. So we've got six mana to play with. Ooh, 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 ooh. Six mm -hmm. mana to play with, right? If we go Ruther Sciences and just sort of like, you know, leave ourselves one off of the perfect turn. And then we can copy Elemental Summoning next turn. I like that, yeah. And we've also got a 6-6. Six, six. Well, a 5-5, five, five, sorry. A swing batter. Put him to 10. Okay, well, I think the answer is to have your opponent run real bad. And then is we that can... how we is that how yeah. we get most of our wins? Comment in the in the section below. Ooh, oh, okay. that, that sort of isn't. Ideal. Well, now we just double pigment storm. 
Which might be lethal, actually. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> it is, actually. It's totally lethal. We're just... They're just dead. Nice. Uh, Pigment Storm... Like, you... four to the face there, and then two Copy. to the face off of the other one. Yep. That's it's, what... It's elemental summoning. Yeah, just... <laughs> just... Just deal the damage directly to their face. <laughs> Damn, I got him. I love it. <laughs> like, why go through the middleman that is the elemental tokens when you can just deal the damage straight to them? All right, so last week we started off with one of the most grueling and intense games I've ever played. If you, if you haven't seen Strixhaven number eight... Go watch it at least for game one. Game one was incredible. It was um, really, really full on. This week we have started with a loss to a 56-7 bookworm. Yep. And then a win by copying Pigment Storm. <laughs> so, you know, both sides of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And here's David. I know David. David. Uh, and Double Rip. Ruther. Really need some lands, but we can go get sciences. We can go get sciences, and I also I'm feeling it. We're gonna draw a we're gonna draw an island off the top. Ah, damn it! Gotta gotta sharpen those skills, Adrian. I know. Or you gotta or you gotta grease that bank account. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta gotta make sure that uh, the arena developers are still on the take. You know. I think we still play. Dead, dead plate mage getting no? flunked. No. Very alive. They're summoning yes. in the main deck. Did they did they do the Sam special? I think they've given you a bit of the Sam special. <laughs> um I mean it's probably just Ruther here, right? No, I think I'm gonna subtraction actually. Oh, yeah, just so I'm... we can hit those land drops. Yeah, just so we can get sciences if we need it. So and also we'll... attack off of the sciences next turn. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Go grab sciences. All attack. Would you like to chump block? No. Okay. okay. They value the pests. Demo. Is it Demo? No. That's surprisingly good against what we're doing. Yeah, a little bit. We're gonna cast and or copy a few spells, and it also blocks the pledge mage real good. Yeah. Um... Is it letter? Is this letter? No, we kind of want the land, right? Yeah. Or we're having to manually tap. <laughs> um... We'll be fine. Hey, we got, we got, a, we got reject up. What's the worst that could happen? If we could snag a, uh, Witherbloom Pledge Mage or something here, that'd be nice. That'd be real nice. Oop. That, that's the mana for it. Go into combat. Just go into combat. The mage hunter. In they go. The mage hunter, it onslaughts. <laughs> it's on onslaught. Not offslaught. Not inslaught. Well, now's I it. Now's so. chance. Oop. More, one more game. There we go. And I can attack with my pledge mage now. Yes, attack! Got him. Now land to cast Pigment Storm would be good. Hey! Hello. Hey! Hello. Pigment Storm, take one attack with the 3-3. Three, three. I like it. Seems pretty good. And there's the reconstruct history to buy it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very nice. Oh, gonna... Snakeskin Veil? Oh! Ouch. I guess you attack. No, I don't think I do now. You were chumpy? Were chumping? No, no, no. I just needed to block the pests. All right. Yeah. Well, we can we can take another stab at it. We've got reconstruct history. We can do it again. We do. So we can get back Pigment Storm and Arcane Subtraction. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, and another mage hunter. And we're just gonna like... I don't want to die to mage hunters. Yeah, neither do I. 
I mean, uh, we're the mages and we're being hunted. Maybe I just play Ruther here. Ruther does block. Yeah. And if we draw a land, we can copy the history for what it's worth. I don't know. I'm unconvinced, but letter is also... You know, we used all our mana. What more could we do? Yeah. Also, do yeah, we go for be... the double block? Yes, like, is, yeah, for sure. is the, the double block... Maybe the double block is enough to threaten them into not attacking. Yeah, it's certainly possible. Uh, the double mage hunter against our, like, all spells deck. Yeah. Okay, getting in there. Well, let's show them what we got. I can come. smell removal, though. What you got? Oh, Another one. On. Jeez. Oh, we are not long for this world. Oh, and they didn't even kill the Ruther. Study break uh, buys us a little time. That's not bad. And I can go get a 4 4 with it. You can go get a 4 4 with it. And then you can copy the 4 4s. Yeah, with one more land? One more land. Correct. Okay. We will take two. <laughs> Yeah. And then another. Oh, we're gonna. T oh, it's gonna put us to two. This whole sequence is put gonna put us to two. Yikes! Because Mage really Hunter to... triggers off of the copy as well as the the cast. Cast copies, I don't know how I supposed. Am I supposed to get reduced to memory and copy that, and so we don't just die to casting our own spells? Oh, it's so bad, though. Maybe it's not bad because, like, we can block the three twos, and then we can not die to our own spells. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this doesn't feel good. <laughs> We got the double white, so you know. Yeah. That would have been that would have been embarrassing if we didn't have the double white. Please don't attack. Just just hold it back. Hold it back. Yeah, okay. Nice. Oh, and the land. Alright. Alrighty, so let's go. Reduce copy. Yeah, reduce copy. And then and then pray. Yeah. Do we... Hang on. Yes. We will die. We're going to take four from this. And we will have... We will end this turn with a... With a Quandrix Pledge, Pledge Mage on the battlefield. Oh. No Ruther. And they will have three creatures. Oh, yeah. So maybe I just reduce one of them. Yeah, okay, that's that's not bad. And then we'll take two. And then we can maybe reconstruct and have another go at it. Yeah. So we take three in total. Yeah, I'm one mana short of being able to recast the Ruther. Yeah, if we could recast the Ruther, we'd be in far less trouble, but... We can't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Number four. Like losing to Mage Hunter. Ugh, damn you, legendary rule. Oh, hang on. Are we just... De oh, we're dead we're anyway. Dead anyway. Oh, we went through all of that rigmarole. We're just dead anyway. Uh, I mean, they, might, they might not go for it. <laughs> they went for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you get to die. 
Wow, that's. <laughs> I thought I was being real smart too. I'm like, oh, hang on, we're dead. And I totally forgot that it isn't just like a really good exile spell. It gives them a three two. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> well. Okay, one for two. Again, the bubbliest draft channel on the internet. Here we go. We're going to run it up. Run it and up. We've got potential. Hey, we've got, we've got a Mizzix as mastery in our deck. We have a Mizzix mastery in the deck. We've got a lot of five drops. Bah! <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's, like, that's what the pest says when it's all grown up. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I like this opening hand though. It's got a very yes. nice curve to it. Two, three, four, five. That's good. If we can just rip a few lands, we should be in a good spot. That's awesome not. Spells. Hey, two, three, four, five, six. Now. Now just lands. Got a straight. We got a straight. Land. Land. That's not a land. It's not a bad one though. Um, okay, well now we have now it's land. Don't kill it. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm always blown away when people do that in limited. Just because it's so bad. Well, it just seems like a waste of your your summoning, unless your deck is crazy. Yeah. And you can afford to throw away your one of four elemental summonings. Hey. Okay. There goes Ruther. Land off the top. That's hey <laughs> hey. She's back. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Do you like Rutha? So nice, we cast her twice. Thanks for killing the first one. We couldn't have had both in play at the same time. Yeah, we couldn't. Okay. Can you play a creature so that I can bounce it and attack with my Pledge Mage? <laughs> I think the answer to that is no. And watch, they'll they'll cast a token. Like, they'll make a token next. What was that? Is that negate? That negate. Negate. Negate in exile. <clears throat> I'm going to cast a one drop and negate it. That would be impressive. Opt negate. Storm count is three. Pass the turn. Spectacle man. Okay. Land is good. Land is indeed good. All right, so let's go... Divide this... Yeah, me too. We just sort of need those lands. Yeah, the four is nice. Okay. We're on the board. They're doing Jess Guy as well. Hey, they stole our idea. Thieves. Yellow Drop Warden. They stole our hand as well. Okay, well. If, when we play Law Hold Campus, we will have identical mana bases <laughs> yeah um so we play our own warden or do we get the i kind of like warden here like warden yeah. tap land right that seems yeah. good yeah yeah i agree because we can't really attack with anything this seems fine yeah both both of us turtling up ready for a long game and Turtling. I think I try to, I think I try to aim for. Ooh. Well, that gets maelstrom. That gets pigment stormed. Yeah, I was about to say I probably want to aim to copy pigment storm with Ruther, but. Oh, uh, we could fade a turn off of the arcane subtraction. Because, like, um... if they they swing in with the the muse, thinking that they're gonna get sweet value, we can subtraction it with the ability on the stack. I don't know. We need to draw a land, though, is the only issue. Well, we've got sciences, right? So, sciences plus another land. Yeah, okay. What's... How hard can it be? <laughs> Resolve. Or we just copy sciences. We could do that, but I don't think we want to. And I, I don't have a reason to need triple blue. Unless I, like, want to play Quandrix Pledge Mage and hold up a counter spell. So I think I'm just going to get my fourth red. Yeah. Seeing as we do have 
a cost that says triple red on it somewhere yeah, in yeah. the deck. Um, and I guess we passed it a turn. Yep. I mean, maybe they cast a big thing here, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll draw a land and we'll copy Pigment Storm. No worries. It's in. If we don't draw a land, we can't just play the Cogwork Archivist, because that does hold off the Maelstrom news. That's true. Gonna hated the base. I, I think I subtract it anyway. Just in case they've got something like a heated debate. Well, don't we do that when they show us the heated debate? No, because they can just go to Oh, damage. right, 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 right. I'm really good at magic, you see. <laughs> I can't get over the fact that they like they opened the arena client and they're like it's choose a choose a username and they're like bah <laughs> do you reckon that's like their online moniker across all things or they just <laughs> opened up arena and keyboard bashed and he <laughs> I think my, my by far my favorite arena usernames that I see are people that have put in arena codes that they've opened in prize packs. Or oh, yeah, yeah. Where it's, it's just an incredible. arena code. It's incredible. That's the funniest thing. And it's there forever. Snow day. That's interesting Snow to me. Snow day like today. Whoa, was that shock? They discard shock? Yep. Oh, hey, there's the land. Yeah, we got it right. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. So I guess we double pigment storm? Double pigment storm. Huh? And we will net two damage, one off of the excess and one off of Ruther. Killing the game. Uh, no, the Ruther will be back in our hand. Oh, Sorry, we will net one damage. Oh man, playing with Ruther is so fun. I, I love this card so much. Like, there's few things that are as fun as copying spells. Like, my first ever deck... Well, my second second ever deck that I played in in standard, way back when, it's probably M11 or ugh. lightning bolt. Oh, that's why they threw on the, the away the shock because they had a better one in hand. Jeez, wouldn't mind Mizix's mastering their um their graveyard. Yeah, I reckon. How's ours looking? Divide sciences attraction pickers. Oh, that's large. That's big. That's quite large. Um, so uh, huh? we need a burying books stat. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Cast Ruther. Crack the warden. Get back the pigment storm. Copy it again next turn. What do you think? Yeah. Of yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Did I did I do a good one? Yeah. Very good. Yes. This like this preem or like... I elemental summoning? Oh and do it. Oh, can do you have the do you have the money to do it next turn? Yeah, cuz it's just too Oh, no, no, no. I I won't. I won't. Yeah, you're right. Get back. Pick and stop. Okay. Can't move. Can you kill my Ruther? Oh, I don't want to find out. I mean, I want to find out in the case that they can't, because I hope nope. that they can't, because that will make us very sad. Because the other Ruther oh. is in the bin. Correct. Okay, well, close mage. Nice. Okay. We did it. Nice. Very good. Cool. Um... Five and five. Oh, oh, are you ready for this? Are you oh, ready for this? What am I... Oh, what should I be ready for? Oh, the get in for one! 
<laughs> Wait, no. No? They just block it. No, no, no. They won't. What if we've got shock? Ooh. <laughs> oh, they're brave. They're thinking about it, though. Oh, they, okay. Okay, got us. You got me. Okay, All now, right, so let's, now for the main event. Let's get this 8-8 eight eight out of the way. Oh, we'll get we'll get two damage in. That's like a shock. Bam. Hey, we did have shock in the end. We did have shock in the end, that's true. They go in the scribe bottom, please. Thank you. Cool. No spell. No spell be real good. Because our life total is getting a little threatened. Nice. Okay, okay, just off the top. Hopefully okay. that doesn't mean creature. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Oh, reconstruct. So we can get... We can get pigments. Divide and Pigment Storm. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. And then we can um, do that and Rutha this turn. I think I'm going to go just Cogwork, Hold Up, Subtraction. Just, ah, uh, yeah, just get on the board. Yeah. Shore up. Yeah, that, that this makes sense. Don't counter it. Don't play reject. There we go. Okay. Because reject could have could have been something that they drew. This is true. Goes for the scry. What do they see? Ooh, they like it. They like what they see. Okay. Is it a removal spell? Or is it just I like sure not. magma opus? Can you? How about let's bring it down a little bit? Is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> basic island. Yeah, yeah. They just they needed that extra basic island. Oh, Urza's rage. Oh, this is actually funny. They they have not bet on us having arcane subtraction in here. Oopsies. So you subtract so, now and and then block? Yeah, I think so. Any thoughts? What do you think about that? Got another shock? Maybe I should have blocked. Uh we've got something. I guess I grab a spirit summoning. The most disappointing summoning. Yeah. Because all of them is like, ah, oh, pest. Ah, oh, you get two bodies. Fractals. Ah, oh, it's as big as you want it to be. Elementals. Look at this great race. <laughs> Hilarious. Nice. Okay, elemental summoning is strong. Land is also strong. <clears throat> so okay, we can... so we've got nine mana. So I guess I just Rutha reconstruct. Rutha reconstruct is good. Um... How much? Okay, so Rutha reconstruct back. Divide and pigment storm. Yes. Seems pretty good, doesn't it? It does. Or I could not play out the Ruther just to. Oh, to try and just avoid hand. the, the ruining yeah. of it. But then we need to draw a land. Because that ten, ten mana uh, is what we'll need for play Ruther, pick Ruther up, and cast Pigment Storm. Yeah, you're right. So I need to draw a land. So I think, yeah, right, let's just play Ruther. Pass the turn. Okay. What'd you draw? I don't have any way to get a creature out of my graveyard, do I? Just um, spells. Uh-oh. No touchy! Don't, don't... Oh. That's pretty that's good. But they've powerful. also... And about to die. Given us a really good pigment storm target. Yeah. 
does get to draw a card. Strong. Play a land. We're about to copy Pigment Storm for the Play third land. time this game. That's quite a rate on <laughs> copies of Pigment Storm resolved per game. Nope, not oh, your right We've either. made this mistake before. Oh my god. Alright, let's get Ruther back in the deck, I think. Yeah, yeah, Ruther back in the deck. Get back in. Yes. Land is good. Okay. So we... So we can we can now Pigment Storm copy it and divide. That sounds pretty good. So I think we Pigment Storm the Archmage and the 4-4? Four four? Yeah. Which also lightning bolts them. So, you know, we're really sort of getting it back on them incrementally. And I think I'm just going to play Ruther again. Play Ruther. They have to threaten, draw hot off the top. Threaten to just copy elemental summoning next turn. Yeah. Oh, actually, like now, that I've drawn the, now that I've drawn the 10th land, I don't need to expose the Ruther. So I think I'll just play this. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you can cast Ruther and copy the thing at the same turn. And we've got the yeah. blocker for the flyer. And what they got? Something nice off the top? No. Something decidedly not nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hear me out. Challenge for this game <laughs> is try to kill them with only Pigment Storm damage. With only Pigment Storm damage. That's hard, though, because they'll run out of creatures. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine, we'll do it the boring way. <laughs> and, and you know, it's a pretty, like, high bar for boring, because we're, we're copying, like, every single spell. <laughs> Ruther is so insane. <laughs> it's just the wildest. <laughs> and then Go we get away. To, and then we get to we get to learn yeah. for the, the two reduce for memories. Which sure. we can't cast. Uh, oh this, actually watch... should you loot off of this one? Yep. Your hand. Discard this. Hey! Gonna land. Hit that land drop. Oh we well, hit the land drop play Ruther. Quick, stop. Oh no, you're going to the combat set. Never mind me. Down to two. Play Ruther and again. Turn, and then next turn we just reconstruct back. We just reconstruct Pigment Storm and go and kill him with Pigment Storm damage. <laughs> can someone, someone who's been watching this whole thing from the start, can you go through the whole thing and figure out how much Pigment Storm damage we dealt them? I'd really like to know. Oh. Returned past caller. What does that get back? That gets heated back a debate? heated debate, which f with which they will kill the Ruther, but they're well, already did, dead off of Pigment Storm. What did Ruther ever do to you? Yeah, this Why is really uncalled Ruther? for. That's just so unnecessary. I think they're just the looking through their graveyard and going, oh, I've got nothing, do I? <laughs> This was the game where they heated debated Ruther on turn three, wasn't it? Yeah. And then we're like, oh, here's another one. And then that one just completely took over the game. <laughs> that it did. Oh, see, now that they've, they've noticed this, they're like, they have a lot of hate for Ruther, but they've realized that if they point the, the heated debate at Ruther, they lose the game. Um question for my for our uh, edh friends that are following i don't i don't play commander myself but does ruther see play as a commander she seems like she'd be really sweet in that format not that i know very much about it okay Lightning gets the bolt. bolt pledge mage okay doing everything right to stay alive but, hey, hey, opponent, but they don't out. quite know how dead they are. <laughs> no artifacts, no enchantments. Yeah, let's get an instant. Ooh, you, I like sorceries, though. Never have I seen the, the sorcery card type. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Respected. <laughs>
Uh, it was incredible. Ah, oh, that was fun. That was very fun. So, last week, uh, we had a really interesting pick towards the start of the draft where we'd already taken one Ruther, but then we got a pick three second Ruther versus uh, the Pugilist, the three mana 8 8. And I it, still it don't know pick what of the, the week. pick there was. It was, it was pick of the week. But I took the Ruther, and man, it is games like that that just cement that decision as correct in my head. Oh, yeah, like d- d- Pillar Drop, get back the Pigment Storm. Cart, double the Pigment Storm. Reconstruct back the Pigment Storm. Double the Pigment <laughs> Storm again. <laughs> pigment yeah, Storm cast... probably itself, we copied it, like, it probably did 30 damage that, that game. I think we cast and copied six Pigment Storms. Yeah. Because we cast it three times and copied it each time. No, it was more than that. It was eight. Because we cast it, we pillar dropped it back, we reconstructed it, and then we reconstructed it again. Oh, 40 damage. <laughs> Th- thank you, Pigment Storm. What a this, this draft brought to you by Pigment Storm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Well, we've got... We've got a bronze player across the table. The best way to finish that would have been if we'd drawn Mizix's mastery as the way to get back oh. the pigment storm for the last time. <laughs> Opponent's like, oh my god, they've brought back their pigment storm three times already. What could they possibly have left? It <laughs> the the answer will shock you. Well, it will actually pigment storm you shocks a different card that we don't have in the deck. Got a one drop. Ooh. And if we don't get a three drop, holding up the test of talents is very, very real in its Yeah, goodness. but we probably just want to subtract the ingredient and get in with Pledge Mage. If you have a recipe and you subtract an ingredient from it, it probably becomes not a very good recipe, you reckon? Well, it depends if the recipe has olives in it, because then if you subtract the olives, you improve the recipe. I disagree. Oh, hey, Hello. Hello. Oh, very, very good friend of ours. Uh, but I think I'm just going to subtract here. Just to get in for three. Yeah. Get the sciences. Do I get sciences or do I get summoning? I think I get summoning. To try and, and we're betting on hitting a land in our next couple of draws. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, although the science is guarantees that we get in next turn. And it kind of gets us all our color. Yeah, let's get sciences. That's all right. So listen to me. Sciences also lets us hold up test of talents. That is true. They're like, what are, what are they doing? They've got something. Snakes get Blunt. nail. Ugh. Uh, science. All attack. In for three. Very good. Pass the turn. They could, they, they could have snakeskin veil. They could very well have. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Attack. Yeah. That's in for one. They are the beat down that they have decided. So the sciences hold up test. Yeah. And then the following turn we can Ruther hold up Berry. Oh no, Berry's three off of the cross reduction, isn't it? Okay. <coughs> well, we're doing a very good imitation of the beatdown right now. So hopefully they go for a spell here. An instant of a sorcery spell. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's what we're talking about. I mean, I guess. I mean, it's a target. Yeah. We get to see their hand. And deck. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) This is meant to be exciting, Sam. We counted yes! big play with test of talents. Now we get to look at their hand. We basically Dude. thought seized them. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty 
Promising Dusk Mage and Charge Through. Okay. Library. Well, library. What, what are we dealing with? Oh, <laughs> we got one. Second big play, Tangle Trap. Does that hit anything in our deck? No. Um, cool. Yeah, we've got a couple of artifacts. Oh, no. oh, yeah, it hits Letter and Cogwork. <clears throat> Essence Infusion, um, Mage Hunters, Pest Summoning in the main deck. Inquisition. Mage Letter. Duel, okay. Wither Bloom, Skurred Colony, Mask- Mascot Whoa. Exhibition in the main deck. Okay, all right. What are they doing? They've done a Sam special. They've done the Sam special. Whoa. Glyph Weaver. Deadly Vanity is scary. Auric Law Mage. Groff eh? Fracture. Interesting. Pest okay. Summoning in the main deck. Okay. All right. Well. And then they can activate the hall on one of their things. Can they, they, they can. Not now, though, because they've gone to combat. Oh, okay. Nope, too late. <laughs> I have <laughs> I've made that mistake in paper. You made it against me, if I recall correctly. I, I yeah, and I did a I did a bit of a cheaty face. I didn't I didn't realize. Can't can't imagine you would try to cheat against me, Adrian. Yeah, it's unheard of. I'm I'm wounded. Yeah, the the less said the better. Less your your <laughs> your sterling <laughs> reputation comes into some sort of form of disrepute. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um Hmm. I guess we just pillar drop pass. I mean, yeah, pillar drop pass. If you were really feeling it, you could like bury attack. Yeah. Just to keep up the momentum. I think I'm gonna try and copy Barry with Ruther. Would we just go Ruther pass? Could be Ruther pass. See Ruth a pass. Yeah, Ruth a pass. Draw... Yeah. Cause their hand is not, you know, filled with the craziest stuff right now. Yeah. Yeah, actually I'm gonna get filled <laughs> I do like the pillar drop. A one five is a very is a very big deal. It just sort of blocks everything in this moment. It really does. Especially with Reach, right? Yeah. It gets past it. Essence Infusion, and then you can use the Hall. Okay, well, I found a good target for Berry. This is a very good target. <laughs> I guess we're taking our taking our beats this 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 turn. Going to charge through to make charge sure it's lethal. Should, they, they should definitely hold that charge through so they can get another counter next turn. Well, don't, don't, don't tell them that. Sure. Gets in for five. Land off the top would be nice. Because then we can... I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, land, and then we can root that and then copy some... Nope. Yeah, so I think we just bury and get in there. Get in there. Oh, they gained five? Ugh. They did gain five, so we got a we got a bit, a bit of work to put in. But hey, they're gonna take they're probably gonna take three or four here, so you know. We know what you've had you've got in hand, so you know. Yeah, why is it even? Oh, this is an instant. Give my pledge mage trample. Give it, give it trample. Uh, also, just to things up i <laughs> you very much made it sound like i am a cheater oh before. no 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 that, <laughs> that is not the case <laughs> well no <laughs> not a not a deliberate cheater at least no more of an accidental yeah like i did the accidental one with the mage with the the hall of heroes is that what the hall of heroes or hall of oracles hall of oracles hall of oracles it happens. Um, do you know what also happens? I think we're gonna we're gonna play some cards. And um, if we wanted to, we could uh, we could copy the reconstruct next turn. I don't know how if we have much to get back though. You can get back. Berry oh, instant and instant sciences. sorcery. That's something. Yeah. 
I guess it all depends on what we draw. Crash through. That's got trample. Yeah. Gonna put a counter on it. Okay. Yeah. Gonna attack. I know you don't have big play. Doesn't match. Attack. No. Hey, look, there's there's owls. That seems pretty good, doesn't it? That it does. I could pledge mage pick up the berry. Pledge mage pick up the berry. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. And then we can probably find ourselves in a situation next time we can copy the berry. Yeah, if we draw a land. If they draw, if we draw a land, or if they attack. Um, also reconstruct. We can cast the. Oh, hold on. Ah, we saw those cards when we looked through their deck. Funny about that. Ooh, Divide's good, though. That's real good. That's almost... That's way better, because now we're going to double learn. Yeah, we can go get Elemental and Spirit, I guess. Yeah. And bounce their stuff. Yeah. I like it. I guess I don't need to do anything now. Um, you could probably get in with the pledge mages. Like if oh, you, yeah, that's true. If you yeah, bounce yeah, the yeah. four four and the and like pick a two three, um, we could get in with all of the pledge mages. Are we the beat down right now? So if I bounce their pledge mage and their reflective golem, this will become a four four, and I get in. For maybe I just get in with Quandrix and one of the Prismaris. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense because they can't quite a they can't quite go toe to toe with three power at the moment. I could also just cast a single divide and go get Elemental and try to copy it next turn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you could you could you could go get elemental and hold up the barrier books in case they attack. Next I like that. Bounce that. Triggers. Goodbye counters. Hello summoning. Hello attacks. I don't know if they block any of this. I mean, they could throw a 2-3 in the 1-1 one, one in front of it. But... Okay. Winning on life total. Seems good. What do you got, Osti? Just that. Nice pledge mage. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. That gets us our uh, uh, fifth, our, our seventh land for copying the elemental summoning. Yeah. So do I? And we can also reconstruct on the same. Yeah, turn. and I guess that's better than holding up berry. So I guess I reconstruct back, divide and sciences, attack with the little pledge mages, and then play campus guide. Yeah. Oh, look at look at this sequencing. No, no artifacts, no enchantments. One instant, if one sorcery. I get sciences. No planes will disturb me. <laughs> no, no planes. Here come. Uh, here they come. Resolve all. Oh, hey, too much. Too much for them. The value. That was sweet. Yeah, I guess all we've done is just like get stuff out of the bin and. And like make our opponents suffer with it. Yeah, we're not very good at like actually closing the game, but moving moving pieces between game zones. Very, very good. good. Yeah, we're quite good at that. And doing it so much that our opponents decide to concede the game. Well, that's magic. That's 
pretty good. Isn't that how lantern control works? I believe so. Yeah, it just gets it, its main wind condition is misery. <laughs> uh, Speaking and, of lantern, lantern control is back. Yeah, the power the, of uh, Urza Saga. Urza Saga, and we're not talking about the uh, the the set. Yeah, Don't I saw that. a great. Uh, there was a great poll on Twitter the other day that was, "What's more broken, Urza Saga or Urza Saga?" <laughs> <laughs> Which one did you choose? Uh, I refrained from voting. I sat on the fence. That's fair. It was too close to tell. Too close to tell. I think I would have gone with Urza Saga. Poor. Yeah. But like the second, the second, the second one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kekko. Yeah, yeah, Kekko. Yeah, yeah. And there's, um, there's a roofer. I can, uh, I can Kekko with this hand. Yeah, me too. Have we ever gone first today? Uh, probably not. We're very unlucky. Yeah. Barry's good. It's very good. Very good draw. Another. Okay. Silver uh -oh. quill could be the end of us. Oh, that's a nice draw. But drawing the pledge mage does make it all better. Pledge Mage v Apprentice. That being said, if they just Essence Infusion here, we're having a sad time. Uh, we've got a Berry. I'm pretty have a happy berry. with an Essence Infusion, actually. What I really hope is that they attack and then just cast, like, something that pumps it up so it trades with the Pledge Mage, and then that's their entire third turn. You, you might be a little, uh... Oh. Oh. Huh. Okay. okay. That seems fine. And I think we just drop a letter. Drop a letter. S. S is a good one. I like S. But like in Scrabble, right, S doesn't get you very many points. Like Ooh. we're talking in Scrabble, we're talking like Q. Like Q's, Q's good in Scrabble. X. They're, they're high on their own. But S often enables multi-word combinations. Ah. Maybe we should do a, uh, we should do the Scrabble Punks. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to go Rutha and then hope to copy Berry next turn. Yeah, they're, they are definitely on the beatdown, so the chances are very high. Please don't kill my Rutha. Yeah, that would... <laughs> We we weren't gonna talk about that eventuality because it just isn't gonna happen. I can see you thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, Keko. You don't want to do it. Trust me. You don't want to do it. It's not gonna be worth it. You know, it's a one four. What do you guys care about a one four? You got a death toucher and a flyer. Jeez, they're having a think. Oh uh... yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, well, we're, we're getting edicted all the way home. Okay. Fuck of this ain't bad. No, no third edict, please. So now we can pigment storm the spiteful squad and then bury whatever they put the counters on, presumably the inkling. Yeah, not that's true. Inkling, inkling's not even big enough to get through cogwork, Archivist, though. No, it's not. Land. Targeting. Okay. Cool. Alright, slow things down. I like cogwork living. Me too. Got a... Got a something? Don't just pass with beaming to find stuff. That's not fun. That would not be good. Also, what's this about Witherbloom Sleeves playing Silver Quill? <laughs> They're playing the mental game. That is deception of the highest order. <laughs> oh, what will they name? Either of these would be decent names. Okay. okay that's, that's a good name. That's a good name. Another flyer. Well, I guess we just go to plan A. I guess so, yeah. It's not like we were really doing anything else. 
It's a shame I can't hold up the berry this turn, but it, it, they still can't get through Cogsworth here. Um, so. Yeah, even with the, the counters. Oh, they can if they put put it on the 3-2. Uh, the oh, yeah, true. Which one I have to bury it? Which is a little awkward, but... Okay, well... Like, I mean, the, the, the alternative is I wait till next turn. That is the alternative. Um, because then, then I'll have the mana to bury as well. Because as it stands, we're going to take two. But if I bury and they put the counters on the silence, I'll yeah, take, take five. five. Yeah, okay, let's... Um, we, we also... Um, also have just bury in books in case something crazy happens. Okay. What has been prophesized has come to pass. Yeah. Taking two. L. Oof. Stop playing flyers. This this one's really cogwork archivist is holding the whole show together. Hey Arena, show us our graveyard first. Yeah. It's a very confusing interface. Test. Yeah, it's, test is something. It's not bad either. So let's get this out of here. Oh. Do you two mana. Do you defiance? Two mana. Show us it. Show it to us. Alright, it's dead. We, we got damage on the board. Where is it gonna go? Counters, counters. Sure. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Alright, Cogsworth. Don't uh don't let us down. In oh! Whoa. I think I have to kill this one first. Oh, because of the, the inklings? Well, because of the, the ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't get inklings. You just get counters. Yeah. And then we bury, bury the fire four. No bear me defiance. Please don't. Because that will be dead. That, that's that will curtains. be the end of the draft. Like, We've got an audience here. People yeah, are watching at home. People are, are, are looking at the YouTube like duration bar and going, ah... If yeah. only it was longer, got him. If we if we win this combat, that's pretty huge. What do you reckon? Can we I mean we'll take four. And then they can activate to make us take another two. Put us to put us to four. Not Come on, opponent. an amazing place for us to be, but what's happening? Plumbing. Oh. Doing some plumbing. Okay, fixing the pipes. There it is. What do we got? Can we get a reconstruct history off the top? Is that too much Ooh, to reconstruct ask? off the top would be something. Come on. Yeah, yeah, play the silver quill. Just don't name reconstruct history. Name Velamarcus Lawhold. That's what yeah, yeah, yeah. For. That's what we got. Speaking of, I have yet to play with any of the Elder Dragons in this format. I drafted one off camera and um and did not do it justice. I went like I went like three three. Yeah. Okay. I faced down all of them. Wow. I think not at the same time. Very. Oh. Is is a good call and there is reconstruct history which is an excellent call uh so we've got six seven eight mana so i can reconstruct back these two and then we can we can pigment storm the the silencer and then bury something else yeah i can't pigment storm this turn though no i think we're just gonna have to fade the turn i mean we get to keep test up which is relevant 
Yeah. Are we... So if they activate Spectre, we go to four and they attack with everything and we die? Uh, that's an unfortunate reality, isn't it? What a name. Oh, that's the end of us. That's quite smart. Oh, yeah, because, like, yeah, we just can't even cast it off of their attack because we'll take the three anyway. Right, we're one mana short of being able to cast Pigment Storm. What? Okay, so we need an out. we got to crack the, the letter. I think so, yeah. What are we looking for? Pigment Storm. Okay, Pigment Storm off the top. Or another creature. That's that not bad. That is real. That's really good. That is... That okay. is... That is life. That is the difference between life and death. Oh! And counter it. Okay. We're still in. Okay. Counters it. We're gonna go have a look at what else you got. Combat, Professor. Oh my god. They can't, they can't cast it this turn? Can't cast it this turn. Okay, what are they, what are they in the library? Defend. Defender Campus. Leech. Devastating Mastery. Jesus. Strange. Crushing. Disappointment. Hell and chill. This is a good deck. Hunt. Oh, oh, uh, oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> oh jeez. We're in very danger. Oh. Okay. Okay, so crisis minorly averted. Come on, attack. You need to attack. Interestingly enough, didn't go for the um The Spectre line. Yeah, well I suppose killing the, the archivist is even better. Yeah, but the line that means they don't cast spells. Yeah, yeah. Like the onboard line. Yeah. I probably would have done the same thing as then. You see removal, you see creature on the other side. And he's go, like, Ooh. I won! Kill! Okay. Okay. Our graveyard. Put the put creature us. back. Yeah. Because Reconstruct now gets the artifact back as well. Uh, it does, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I... Reconstruct back the letter. No enchantments. Fairy. Pigment Storm. No Planeswalkers. Play a land, play letter. Play letter, hold up subtraction, pray. Pass the turn. Well, not so much pray, but we're like... Yeah, we're okay here. We, what we an need, interesting game. We need... So they could, go for the, they could go for the lethal line here, right? They can drain with Spectre, attack with everything. We block the, the silencer. Yes. No. Well, we can block the Spectre to get it out of the equation. And then we can Pigment Storm the Silencer. Just like, however we want to do it, if we block the Silencer, um, we will, uh, we'll be able to bury sooner. Oh, doesn't go for it. Doesn't even, what? This is blot out this guy. No, that's a sorcery. Is it? Oh, God. What could what? this be? They didn't... Oh, they're planning to just activate Spectre on end step. Oh, they're just going to play it very safe. Well, we got a Pigment Storm for that. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm I almost... Think... Uh, I don't know. Like, we could leave it in there. there. Yeah. Um, I don't really want to give them any of this. Maybe the Silver Quill Apprentice? I mean, we don't. We also don't need to activate this. Yeah. I don't think we saw any reanimation spells. In there. Okay, pledge mage. What did we see? 
Uh, yeah, no, no. They plan to do activate Spectre. Okay. Um, Pledge Mage Storm. And we have to storm the Spectre? Um... Well, it, it, it helps us stay alive if we storm the Spectre. Yeah, because they can just sit on Spectre and activate it every turn. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember seeing Beaming Defiance in their deck. No. So here comes the activation. Okay, so I've never seen Silver Core Silence would be so good in limited. Yeah. Has the the land. Don't touch. No touchy. Don't touch it. Well, I mean if you touch anything, touch the pledge mage. The the archivist is doing the real work here. True. Um, and we did see Defend the Campus in their deck. We also saw Blot Out the Sky. Like, we need to actually get on with winning this game. Or are we just going to lose to Blot? Okay. Oh! Okay. What can we learn for? We can learn for Elemental Summoning? We can learn for... Well, it also buys us time if they attack, right? Like, it no, buys no, no. us... What do you mean? Well, not if they attack. Well, like pre-combat. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um. um can I can I attack with Quandrix Pledge Mage here? Um. Because then on their turn, I just study break down two of the creatures. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and I got subtraction and kind of bury up as well. Yeah, well, Berry is a is a risky one. Um, but yeah, you could. You could. And then we can also crack the, the letter if we wanted. Hmm. Whoa. I mean, we'll take we'll take the 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 combat professor. Oh no, you wow. were gonna order the I'm gonna kill them both. Oh, of course. The old two for me. Oh, do we get summoning the game? No, we kind of need to get on the board, don't we? Yeah. Because they do have another Spectre in there. Oh, I need... Oh, yeah, no, no, this is fine. This is fine. Well, that was a blowout. That was sick, yeah. And then that leaves the two up for study if we need it. Are we winning? This is wild. What a game! Oh my god, just don't cast plot. Okay. Okay, that's something. You got a noxious fumes or whatever it's called? They just lost their flyers. So Jeez, I'm sweating. This is incredible. There's going to be party times if we win this game. Because we've got a, we've got currently... What? We've got 13 power on the board right now. Yeah, so we could just attack with all. We could just... Nah, well, we could shouldn't. study break at the end of their turn and attack with all 414. Yeah, true. Which they're which is good, crazy. They're having a good think about this hunt. Annihilation. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that, that plan is off. And I'm happy for you to go to attacks. Yes. <clears throat> My turn. Don't think we study break here. No, I don't think so. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, that's it's really not, good. It's not quite lethal, though. It's not quite, but it's very close. Um, so hang on, if we do the pest, 
the old no i think i i think i hit the silencer because then that opens up berry in books well i'm just i'm just trying to think like if we hit the pest do do we force them into no because well, it puts them to 10 and then we've got eight. Oh, and they gain one of the pests so yeah oh yeah yeah um yeah well let's just hit the silencer who's who's silent now i think even if they draw blot they're not in this anymore because blot makes you tapped tokens yes okay so swing with all because uh... we could we can yeah okay yeah yeah i'll i'll let's play conservatively i like this yeah the the four four is good oh, but the no, four five is to... is exciting so i i think i'm gonna do this and then i'm going to study break in their upkeep to tap this down so we don't die to shenanigans yeah and then if they play another blocker we bury it and then we kill them all right Okay. Or, or not. Well, they make our lives easy. Go I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Don't need a land. Decline. End turn. How are we winning? How? How? That's Clever Luma Mansa. not good enough. Shield Mage. Okay. Ward is relevant. So I go to one? And they're... They're... Empty-handed, so... No tricks. I'm on four. I'm four. Go to one. Pay three life. Take action. Thank you. Go to one. Go... I'm gonna Ooh, we can go... We can go up to three. Yes! <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> From the brink. How did we win that game? I think uh, <laughs> dear opponent uh, made a poor decision when we uh, went to combat that one turn. Well, oh yeah, yeah, with the double block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really the the turning point, wasn't it? <sighs> Jeez. And there was that there was that one turn where we cracked the letter to stay alive. Oh, with and, the arcane subtraction, yeah. And drew the subtraction. Wow. All right. Well, we're still hey, in if, it. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Yeah, this is look. This is high end stuff. This is this is what we give you. Just it, oh perf- wow. <laughs> 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 Oh, I did not think we had that at all. Yeah, me neither. Jeez. Okay. Here's it a tog. It a tog. It eats all the its. It does. Or all the IT departments. Uh... This is awesome if we draw a mountain or a island off the top. Well, not so much awesome, but it's definitely three Prismari Pledge Mages. Yeah, it's definitely functional. The conservative play is to mulligan it. The fun and exciting uh, <laughs> vi- draft video play is probably to keep it. I think I like keeping this. Like, the trouble is we're going to drop all three of them and then... And then be like, cool, cool, cool. What Now what? <laughs> Block with them. Uh, uh, that's true. Yeah, let's keep uh, we're gonna draw an island off the top, Sam. Uh, what did what did I tell you? I'm not I'm not the one that sends the money to the arena devs. It's You're Adrian not. that has all this inside tech. Uh, it's me. Uh, six, Very three. good. Three three Excellent. greater than two two. Oh. Learn Man, some... my my head is throbbing from that last game. I'm I'm very impressed at how we managed to like get like sneak that one in yeah like it seemed like we were just sitting there trying to survive and then wow and then and then and then magic happened still 
It is good. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do now? Our pledge mage is dead. Pledge mage is dead. Um, I guess we just, you know, I'll play another one. Or do you take this turn off to play the letter? I kind of like that actually. So we can double pledge mage. Oh, we can't. We can't even do that. Perfect play to the letter. Whoa. Harmonize is good. But it doesn't affect the boards. So oh, now we can we... double pledge mage. Yeah. Hell yeah. How's how's that for affecting the board? And then we can practical research next turn. Very nice. Well, we can study break down the blockers. Go get an elemental summoning. Oh yeah. What are we, what are we feeling? Hmm. Like we can play the land, we can play study break, and we can practical research. Am I am I doing the math wrong? I'm doing the math very wrong. That's one yeah. measure for that. Yeah. Just play the land and play the archivist. Yeah, so we could play land, play archivist, or I could practical research, get in with the pledge mages. I think I like that a little bit better. Yeah, that's fair. It's also a lot of cards. Four cards is a lot of cards. Oh. Oh, I forgot we had Mizix's mastery in the deck. Wow. Um. Do I discard study break? I think so. Yeah, it's definitely not the best spell in the hand anymore. It does take us off of learn, but I mean, hey, when we when we inevitably overload Mizix's mastery. Yeah. Oh man, I'm really excited to overload it. I hope we get to do that. We may well this game. Cause Wow. Oh, gotta uh, got Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, well. The old one for one. Ooh. I hope they don't put that on the pledge mage, because then we can't pigment storm it. They they won't. They, why would they do that? Oh. Needle Thorn. Needle Thorn. Oh, I think they might, though. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. What? Not. Okay. That's helpful. That is helpful. So. If we Pigment Storm. We can kill a thing of theirs. Yeah, so I think I storm down the Pledge Mage and chump the Amplomancer. Yeah, because we have to, because otherwise we die. Yeah. Uh, land off the top, though. And we're talking. Time. Six, seven, yeah, so we can study break, practical research, pigment storm. That's less awesome than some alternatives. But it's definitely we, a three for one. Regardless, we can go pillar drop divide. True. Gotta block it. Ah, see, we saw the onboard trick. We're good at that. Very good. Play nothing. Nothing? No plays. Please don't cast... Leyline Invocation. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. So they're the IT a tog. Oh, that's oh. a good one. Ooh. Oh. Right. So we can. We can. What? We can pillar drop and divide, or we can just vanilla Mizix's divide. Oh yeah, that's the play. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So we, yeah, so we flashback, pigment storm, kill the null professor, pass the turn, no blocks. They activate Amplomancer. We divide it. Yes. Okay. And then 
and pray to the snakeskin veil gods. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wanted to overload it. I know, me too. We we come at you with a with a heavy heart, dear viewer. Cause we drafted Mizzix's Mastery. I've seen it in like two of like six games, like seven games so far. And have not overloaded it. We're very sorry. They're like, ah, oh, you're dead. Got it. Got you. Activate. Come on. Activate. Boing. Boing. And then we go get... Elemental. Yep. Take one. We can, we can test their annihilation. Put it to the test. Okay, that's that's that would have been the overloaded. That's all right. We'll reconstruct history at back. Oh no, it exiles itself. Okay. I'm very yeah, good. Yeah, it's uh, it's not coming back. Um. Ten mana, right? Oh well. Oh, no, is that ten? That's ten. Is it? Yeah. Oh. No, I don't think it is. This must be a pile of four. So oh, okay. Hard to tell. So hard to tell. Um, no blocks. It's taken one. Would you like to annihilate my 4-4? Four, four? No, we're Rock zoom there. anning. Oh, that's bad. That's a lot yeah. of bodies. Yeah. Now I we're... Whoa! The... They didn't cast it? Didn't cast it. Okay, well... Okay. I think I need to hold on to the letter. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I go Cogsworth? Cogsworth... Um, I think so. Hold up test? I mean, yeah. do we have to just sack it to the the Drake though? Nah. Okay. We might we might pill a drop. Well, are we dead on board? I hope not, are we? I don't think we are. No, we're not. Yeah, it's okay. False false alarm. What have we got in hand? <laughs> I'm so afraid. Well, now we're dead. Now we're dead. Let's take a look at their deck. What do they have? Adventurous Impulse. Berry. Berry. Classic. Mortality Spear. Classic Bookworm. Ooh. Classic. It's a scary one. Quandrix oh. Commence. Classic. Oh. oh, classic. Oh, they took the brainstorm. Classic. All right. We're dead. Okay. Thus the fun ends. Yeah. Well, the, the fun has ended for us. The fun has been passed down generation to generation. It's like it's like Highlander. It's like there, there can only be one. Oh, and it was Xaxes as well. That's fun. That that was all worth it. For oh, agreed. That last game. The 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 triumph over Silver Quill with our Ruther shenanigans. Well, we didn't even yep. do Ruther shenanigans that game. It was just the the sheer survival instinct. Yeah, yeah. Poof. All right, let's go have a look at our venerable war singer deck. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this was sweet. <laughs> I had I had never, a lot of fun. We never got to live the dream with the best card in the set. Just like looping stuff with reconstruct, copy it all with Ruther, cast the same pigment storm six uh eight times in over the course of a game yeah resolve eight copies of pigment storm do 40 damage some to the creatures some to them that's incredible it's quite quite good that was i'm glad we uh i'm glad we decided to experiment that was uh that was one of the more <laughs> entertaining we experimented decks. with ruther fitting do you reckon it's good yeah, I don't know. I've I've never played with this card before, so I'm still on the fence. Yeah. <laughs> well, I enjoyed it. This was uh this was great. 
That was that was excellent. All right. We even got 56th. <laughs> yeah, that was how we opened the draft as well. Um, okay, cool. That will do us for this week. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Draft Punks. And welcome to all of our new viewers who might have come across us on Reddit recently. Um, it is great to have you here. Uh, I hope you enjoy the outro that's about to come. These are always very fun. Uh, pick of the week for this week is up on screen now. Let us know what you would have taken here. This was a this was a tricky pick. Uh, we would uh, would love to hear from you. We've had some good good interaction on pick of the week over the last couple of weeks. So let's let's keep that up. Adrian, what did what did we have from last week? So no comments on pick of the week last week, but we do have a bevy of comments both on the Strixhaven draft at number eight, which is our last video, and the best of draft punks May twenty twenty one, which we released uh, early last week. So thank you all for commenting. I'm going to start with Strixhaven Draft 8. And we have Michael Raymond saying, uh, pick one, good Quandrix cards, but we keep drafting GU on this uh, channel. Let's play something else. Pick two. Well, let's not commit too hard too early. Pick three. All right, we'll commit to Rutha. Dot, dot, dot. Pick four, Quandrix, though. Yeah, well, Michael seems to have uh, come to the conclusion that we're maybe a little bit typical. There's no Quandrix cards in this deck. This is very true. Um, thank There's you. There's no Quandrix cards in this deck. That's a, what are you talking about? Don't even know what they're talking about. Um, that square up in there? Pff, come on. It's in the sideboard for a reason. It's in the sideboard for a reason. Um, <laughs> very good to hear from you, Michael. Thank you. Uh, you are one of uh, the most frequent commenters, and we thank you very much. Always great to see you in the comment section. Um, so much so that, uh, our, our, our skilled and unimpeachable draft choices apparently become old hat and boring. So thank I hope, you. I hope, I hope this one, uh, was more to your, more to your liking. Uh, speaking of more, uh, we've Ooh. got Mork. Um, back. He's back. Uh, took a bit of a hiatus in, uh, Strixhaven draft number seven, but he's back. Uh, apologies for my lack of commenting last on last week's tidio. Been smashed with work. <laughs> Super keen for more content. Would love some wacky draft content or potentially challenge videos against each other or even some cube. Um, so good to have you back, uh, Mork. And um, we we do not fault you for the lack of commenting on last week's tidio. Um, <laughs> glad, but, glad to have you on this tidio, though. This this will be a good TDO, and thank you for commenting on it. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, more content is coming. Watch this space. Watch this space. We're we're sort of um, as you uh, would have heard in the intro. Sam is now a a, a much freer man, so we we have now got a lot more time to do a lot more exciting stuff. And um, yeah, so thank you, Mork, as always. Uh, uh, MTG Draft Punks super fan. Uh, lastly, we've got Mackay Cleland on Strixhaven Draft number eight. Um, at thirty fifty five, I actually think it was better if you annihilated the Poet's Quill because you might have just had lethal if that creature doesn't have lifelink. Um, that's a good point. I didn't prepare the screenshot, so um, I don't yeah, have it so in this, front of me. Yeah, so this was uh, this was in the epic game from game one of last week uh on the on the turn we went for the annihilation um i'm not going to spoil what happened if you haven't seen it go back and watch it it's it's really well worth watching um but yeah makai is like right on the money actually there was a there was a a foolproof lethal line that we could have gone for that we didn't consider um yeah the line that we went for had a had a slight fail case um but yeah sharp eye from makai Sharp Eye, Sharp Eye Mackay. Sharp Eye Mackay. That's, that's your new name. Welcome, welcome to the Draft Punks, Sharp Eye Mackay. Welcome to the Draft Punk, Sharp Eye Mackay. You've been commenting very uh, consistently on our past uh, many videos, so thank yeah, you very coming, much. Coming up behind Mork as the, the Draft Punk super fan. Yeah, we've got Michael, Mork, and Mackay. Only names that start with M are allowed in the comment section. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mem Memory Mod Moddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you all, guys, for commenting on Strixhaven Draft 8 on the best of Mackay Hawkeye Cleland. 
once again. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice it when you uh, when I saw the Channel Fireball Top 5. Way to go, guys. Love your hilarious content, as always. Thank you so much for the kind words, uh, Makai. Love you. Um, and yeah, we did. For those who are unaware, we did make the Channel Fireball Top 5 a couple of weeks ago. It was very good, yeah. I couldn't believe it. I lost my mind. Yeah. Uh, Adrian uh, woke me up. To call me to to tell me in an excited fervor that we'd uh, that we made. I was like, Sam, life. Sam, we we did it, we got it. It's the... <laughs> the thing that was uh, that was like too much for me was Riley Knight calling us the boys. The boys. That was really like, oh my god, are we the boys? <laughs> Maybe that's just like his his name for all fellow Australians. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Um, thank you, Mackay. Um, do check out uh, the channel Fireball Top 5. I think it was the May 28th one. Yeah, that sounds about right. So um, we're number three in that. Do do check it out if you get the chance because uh, you get to see our lovely content getting commented by the the dulcet tones of Riley Knight and, uh, and Dennis. Um, so thank you, Mackay. Also, we got a new commenter, Alpha Century. The podcast didn't quite get there for me, but this is quality content. You earned my like and subscribe. Thank you very much, Alpha Sentry. Glad to have you. Yeah, good to have you here. And just to just to clear up a misunderstanding that might have occurred, when not there is a there was a podcast called Draft Punk. Um, we're not the same guys. Um, we are not. Uh, yep, yeah, we're not. We're not smart enough for podcasts. I think that was Death Sea. Yeah, it was Detsy and Ryan Sachs, um, but it it seems to be defunct. They haven't they haven't posted any new content in over a year, um, but yeah, just wanted to clear that up. Yeah, so um, oh, thank thank you very much, Alpha Sentry. Um, yeah, I hope you hope you enjoy your stay. Yeah, uh, yeah, comment comment on this video and be like, I enjoyed my stay, or I didn't. Draft better. Either is good. Draft more Quandrix. Draft more Quandrix. <laughs> Michael and Alpha Sentry are going to have a fight. <laughs> yeah. And um, speaking of Michael, Michael's in the comment section of the best of once more with New Month Bills, sad face, uh, New Month Draft Punks. Uh, he's got the little party hat emoji going on. I'm pretty sure he said Draft Punks, actually. Can I get a punk count for that? Yes. Very good. Um, sorry, <laughs> New Month. Draft punts, yes. Um, it is embarrassing how long it took us to figure that one out. I can't, I'm still ashamed of ourselves. Would you say it's a punt? It's like a life punt. Yeah, that's like a, a channel-wide punt. We need a, like a full channel punt count. We'll put a punt. We'll... <laughs> what if in our YouTube battle we just have a forever incrementing punt count? <laughs> <laughs> Every time we do something bad on the channel itself. <laughs> Who knows? But thank you, Michael. Um, again, draft draft punts super fan. Um, very happy to have you. Glad you enjoyed the uh, the best ofs. Uh, we they're definitely a little harder to make because um, there's a lot more editing involved. But um, we do love the the final product. Yeah, yeah. We 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 put a ton of effort into those. They they take between two and four times the the man hours to create compared to our our regular draft videos. Uh, so if you if you dig them, please share them with your friends. Um, we we make them to be a an easy introduction to what we do. Um, you might you might have even discovered us from from us sharing them on Twitter. Ah, oh, sorry, on uh, on Reddit. Um, so yeah, if you've got friends that you think might dig what we do, those uh, those videos are designed to be a a good introduction. It's a, it's a lot easier to sit through five minutes of the best of our nonsense compared to a, a two hour long draft video. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do let us know in the comments as well. If, um, what, what, what you do and don't like about them. And we're always trying to make the, make the content as good as we can. So if you got any, um, oh, I love this bit or, ah, this bit wasn't so funny. Do let us know. For sure. And, uh, for all our, our new visitors, if you would like to be featured in this section of our next episode, all you need to do is drop us a comment on this video or any other video or drop us a share on social media and just make sure you uh, you tag us or message us to let us know you've done that. Uh, you can email us at the address that's on the screen now 
or you can find us on Twitter at DraftPunksMTG, everything separated by underscores. You can find me personally, my name is Sam, at calm underscore mirror. And you can find me, Adrian, at WalkerAid. And Adrian, take us home. Tell me, what do they call a werewolf on YouTube? Well, at the the risk of sounding uh, derivative, is it like is it like a Quandrix name? Is it like Zinthia? It's a like and subscribe. <laughs>